What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll take the XSR 900 for a spin. Before we really get started guys, if you haven't already, hit that like, hit that subscribe. It costs you guys nothing and it helps me out a lot. It helps me make more content and that in turn helps me help others give good, honest information. For those that don't follow this channel, this is the subject of the video today. It's 2023 Yamaha XSR 900. You can see it's got a host of modifications, but the ones we're gonna be focusing on today is going to be that full Kelpie exhaust and the V-Cycle Nut Flash, which obviously I can't show you, but you can see we're getting some color there on that exhaust. It is a stainless exhaust. This is a catalytic converter. If you want more information on this exhaust and how to install it, go ahead and check out my other video for that. I'll have that in the, in the description. Also got Kelpie seat, which we'll be trying out today. It is definitely more plush than the stock one, but I think it's a little bit higher. So we're gonna check that out as well. And it does have some S2 concept clip-ons. So it's really got that cafe eraser look looks much different than a stock XSR, but let's go ahead and jump on it. All right guys, XSR 900 with the V-Cycle Nut Tune. Let's check it out. it revs a little bit freer but um definitely not a night and day difference uh that i felt with the just the v-cycle nut flash the v-cycle nut flash with the exhaust it feels a little better but i don't think there's a huge improvement um you know not to point fingers at kelpie or anything like that it just may be what it is right i mean obviously you see this kelpie exhaust it's very free flowing so um i don't think that it has to do necessarily with the design of the exhaust or anything like that um and there probably is a difference uh, all the the dyno sheets out there kind of point to there being a, a pretty good difference with uh, adding an exhaust to one of these xsr 900s but uh, for me seen in the pants it feels about the same maybe a little bit stronger i did feel that wheel start coming up in second gear um as you guys saw on video i just kind of this is not my bike so i don't want to beat on it too much i just kind of lean in the end of the throttle just kind of roll it on and that front wheel did get pretty light i do notice something let me see if i can show you and show you now it's got a little bit of a weird buzz in between shifts so every time you shift with the quick shifter it's got a weird buzz in between um not sure if it's gonna pick up on the audio uh, it's not real annoying or anything like that but it's something that i noticed right away when i hopped on this bike um it's just kind of a little bit strange i also noticed lots of pops on diesel so let me just make sure there's nobody behind me here and listen to this guys Quite a bit of popping there. I'm not sure what can really be done with that, but I'm I'm personally not a huge fan of uh, of popping on diesel. But uh, luckily, this exhaust it's pretty quiet, so um, it's not it's not real annoying or anything like that. But uh, and that's just preference. Some people like popping on diesel. Some people like that. Um, that's fine, right? I'm just kind of pointing it out so you guys know. Uh, if you like popping on diesel, then you know, V-Cycle Nut Flash with this exhaust might be a good choice for you. But yeah, you definitely, especially if you kind of give it a little throttle and then let off. And let's, uh, let's see if the performance is any better. The 
still got some power. That front wheel wants to come up. Yeah, so first gear is pretty strong. Uh, I think now that I just now that I just squeezed on first gear, I think it I think it is faster than it was before. So um, not night and day, but I think what I did just there that kind of uh, changed my mind about the power increase with this exhaust. I think we did pick up a little bit. That feels stronger than it did before. But let's go through some other gears here. As far as the quick shifter goes, I, I don't know if I noticed a difference uh, by going to the V-Cycle Nut Flash. There probably is a difference, but it's I, I didn't notice one. And you know, to be fair, the stock quick shifter on this bike is really smooth. So it may just be a situation where you know there's not a lot to to improve on. There's not a lot to perfect when your quick shifter is working at you know 98%, right? That little bit, 99, 100% to get you perfect. You're not going to notice it because it was already good to begin with but as you guys are seeing here this bike is very happy just cruising you know we're just chugging along at a normal pace not riding fast or anything like that let's see if we could can we hear those pops again <laughs> ah, this bike's this bike's so fun to ride and it's way more fun now with the exhaust the stock exhaust on this bike was really strange sounding it sounded like a like a jetson's bike or something but let's see what first gear is like. and as you guys saw there definitely pulled the wheel up in first gear another thing i wanted to note guys is i notice when i stop i am definitely getting some exhaust fumes it's not real bad um, but it kind of tells you I, I don't think that catalytic converter is doing much uh, it's not horrible um, and some of that has to do with the tune as well right obviously when the bike's running rich you're going to get even more fumes um, but i definitely notice fumes when i'm riding at a really low speed or of course when i'm stopped so just wanted to note that for anybody who cares i mean i would assume most of you who are putting a full exhaust on one of these bikes isn't going to care too much about fumes but if you did you're definitely going to get some there and the seat here we're running a kelpie seat as well uh, this seat is definitely more comfortable than the stock seat it has a lot more cushion a lot more plush the stock seat for the type of bike that this was it was surprisingly hard um, so it's nice that we have this kelpie one which is a little bit more comfortable but it's not too comfortable to where it kind of takes the sportiness away uh, i do notice though that it is higher so um i don't think that it's it's way higher than stock but i definitely notice that uh there's more height on this seat came out came through the audio you have that buzzing in between the uh in between the gears so it's not real annoying but it's i definitely notice it so another thing too this seat is definitely holding me in place much better than that stock one probably because the material that's being used but let's go ahead and jump on the freeway here this out guys just in traffic when I want to cruise totally quiet exhaust right I mean it almost set it almost sounds like a stock exhaust right if you short shift it you see now I'm in fourth gear at you know 35 miles an hour or so I mean this exhaust is I basically can't hear it right it's very very quiet you get a little bit of a hum but it's not bad at all and as you guys saw earlier when you do open it up though it definitely makes some noise that's for sure it's not quiet when you open it up and there we go guys so let's go ahead and fill this bike up i don't want to return it back to andrew with an empty tank um, we'll go back to the garage we'll do some more sound clips we'll kind of close out the video but i just wanted to take you guys along with me so you guys can get a 
uh, a feel for what this bike is like with this exhaust and with this flash because it's a very popular setup you see a lot of people uh, with it but you don't see a lot of um, detailed information on it right you see some people saying that uh, this exhaust is quiet which I'm one of those people that that are kind of in that camp this exhaust is it's pretty tame I wouldn't say it's quiet but it's pretty tame and you have the other half of the room who thinks this exhaust is really loud even with the cat so um, now that I've taken you guys along with me you have a better idea and you can decide for yourself if you think this this exhaust is too loud or too quiet or just right or what before I put the XSR away, let's get a few more sound clips while the bike is stationary so you guys can get an even better idea of what this exhaust sounds like. you guys found that video helpful as you saw this bike is real lively and wants to pull the wheel up has plenty of power but it's also very tame as well it's also very rideable as just transportation and I think this Kelpie exhaust is a very good match for this type of bike right the Kelpie exhaust it's relatively quiet it's relatively clean it's relatively calm when you need it to be at low rpm when you're just kind of cruising around. It's not loud at all. It's not annoying. It's not real buzzy, but when you open it up, it's, it's definitely got some noise. I wouldn't say it's real loud, but it does have, it's definitely got some tone. That's for sure. So what's next for the XSR 900? Well, we're thinking about doing some rear sets, some levers, maybe that, uh, I think it's Ermac. I think makes a, uh, a belly pan for these. We may go with something like that. As always guys, thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate every view, every like, every subscribe. A lot more content on the way. So if there's anything that you guys wanna see, if you have any suggestions, please let us know. We're always open to that. We wanna be as helpful as we can, but be on the lookout. A lot more videos coming down the pipeline. See you guys next time.